Right, what is going on lads? This is OGL Games here and I am currently on round um, 25 on Shadows of Evil. Um, when I first played this map, I thought I would be absolutely crap at this and I wouldn't play it at all. I'll be playing the Giant a lot more often. But um, I've gave it, it, I've just sat here on a typical Saturday night, just a uh, night in. It's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just decided to come on Shadows of Evil. And I had a, a researched how to obviously pack a punch and how to do other stuff, etc. Um, so yeah, I've, I've got two pack a punch guns now. I've got turned on this one, which means it turns one of the zombies into a zombie, which fights for me. Which sounds complicated, but it it isn't. It's really helpful actually because it kills about four or five, quite a few of them. Like it's just it's just going to town on them. I mean, look at it. It's just absolutely living. I mean, look at him go. Which is absolutely amazing. Then once um, one runs out, I just shoot about another five or six, and then another one just becomes, um, you know, turned and it starts shooting the other. So as you can see, I've got Juggernaug, Speed Cola, Quick Rev. No, I haven't got Quick Revive actually, because I think I ran out of my Quick Revives quite early in the match, which is not a good idea. I advise you not to try and not go down early so you have Quick Revive, so you know me. But honestly, this is one of the easiest strategies I could say for most pretty much any zombie map it's just all you gotta do is literally just go to the um pack punch um or the realm as i like to call it it's like the um the portal that you go in to pack a punch and all you gotta do is just literally run around here and just train them like i've just legit got about <laughs> 20 25 just training and this gun this gun right here is absolutely immense this uh bahamut but it's the uh dracon but it's just the dracon upgraded so if you watch this, it just turns them into a fucking fire like that. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Right, okay, so if I... Oh, the nuke's gone. So yeah, um, I was like, oh, I'm going to try and get to 25. And I almost died at, like, 24. And I was like, I was, I've got to get to 25, and then I'm going to do a commentary. Because if I don't do a commentary, I'm going to be like, oh, why don't I do a commentary? Because then I'll, like, die at 26 or something. But 24, I had the Margua on me, which is the massive guy, and it was such a pain driving the Margo into this because you have about 20 zombies behind you as well and you have the little shits up the top just trying to fuck you up as well as well as the balls that come rolling in that sounded horrendously wrong but we'll just carry on um, so yeah my record on zombies is 38 on Mob of the Dead which is from Black Ops 2 I think I can honestly beat that if I keep going like this I honestly think I can keep it going very easily He's got his head chopped off and he's still going. Like, this guy's an absolute. Oh, this girl, sorry, is an absolute beast. Like, you can see why I've got turn on this weapon now. I've got 32k points, which is good. So, I think eventually, when I get a part off one of the um, rolling balls, I will uh, get the wonder weapon, hopefully. Um, so, yeah. If, well, it's one of these few things, anyway. So, it's all good. Yeah, because I've only got one part for the. Apothecary Servant, I think it's called. That's it. It changes name during each game, which is a bit confusing, but you know, we'll, we'll just roll with it. You know, so it's all good. I don't know when I'm going to get this part of this um, this uh, rolling ball that's coming around because you're meant to get a part with it by now, I think, basically. So, but the one thing I'd say about strategy is you just got to be really cautious because, like. For instance, if I'm going down here, which is fair enough, like you're fine down here. It's just this part where they spawn here, and then they go there. If one's coming that way, you just got to take a right, or if one's going the other way, you just got to take a left. It's very, di it's quite, um, you got to be quite quick to react, but it eventually does. What I mean, look at him go! Jesus Christ, <laughs> it is so good. This map is honestly so good. I, I, the first time I saw it, I was like, nah, this is not going to be that good. But honestly. Once you um, play enough zombies and you know what you're doing, you just enjoy it so much more. Um, if I got to, if I got further than 38, I'll be 38. I'll be really happy because I feel like I can honestly do it. Um, get to 38 plus. So um, if I did get to like 40 plus, I would do another video on it. Just like just doing a strategy video because I'm, I'm not going to make turn this into a strategy video. I'm going to do another video soon anyway just on showing how to like survive quite high rounds on this you know etc etc I'm just going around here a hey, there we go did a bit of a success so I'm just going to turn these like into fire bang there we go half of them are burning 
Now I'm using the new perk which is Widow's Wine. I almost stopped there, I don't know why I stopped. It's not a good idea to stop on zombies, but you know what, we'll just carry on. And we've got a max ammo which is good. I'll just took a couple of these. Um, bam. He, he's, he's bloody gone, he has. He's just gone for a walkabout in the bloody fire, he has. Right. Okay, nice day. Uh, well, he's gone. And you're gone. Oh, don't know what the hell that was. I don't know what it is. It's something to do with the perk. But yeah, this perk, every time you get hit, it just like, I think it either pushes them off you with like a spider web or something like that, or it um, kills them. I have no idea, but it hurts you as much as a uh, hit would. So like if you were to get four, oh my god, here comes the marker. Bloody hell. We have a bit of a pain here. We're going to have these fucking shit down here as well. Oh god, this is... I think this is... <laughs> Literally, whenever I'm around the Margra, I just get really cautious and I'm just like, oh god, I'm not really going to last this long. Just Like, the good thing is, he's on the first head. If you're on the first head, you're all good. Like, because that's his, his, his average speed if he's on his first head. Which he isn't, which he will be in a second. Get rid of that little shit now. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally an absolute massacre right now. I need a turn. I really need a turn. There we go. Now I can focus on the Margra. There we go. And I can sort of only just stay alive. Jesus Christ, it gets so hectic up in this shit. In the uh, bloody portal, I tell you what, Jesus. Right, okay, so we've, we've got the Margra on the first head. We're doing okay. Have we got still got turns on me? Yes, we have. Oh my god, I... Oh my god, I, almost, I could have done down there, and I'm almost down. Oh my god, I've got turns on me, thank Christ, he's saving my ass right now, Jesus. I would have happily have been dead there. Not like happily, I would have happily have gone down, but I would have most likely been dead there if I didn't keep going. It's the bloody Margaret, it causes so many problems. I still haven't got rid of the first head, that's how annoying it is. Like, literally, I need to get rid of it. There we go, bam. 100 zombies with Blast Furnace. That's sick. That is absolutely amazing. Get the fucking first head, man. Jesus. I'm waiting for it to open, but it's not opening. That sounds so wrong. Why does it sound so wrong? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. Oh, no. No. Oh, I was doing so well as well. It's just the Margra. It takes your eye off the entire game. And it's just like, right, you've just got to kill it. Because if you keep it for too long, it's just going to fuck you over. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Round 27, that's not too bad. That's all, that's like my third or fifth solo attempt. Third or fifth, that's complicated. Third or fourth um, solo attempt, which is good. Which I really did enjoy. I started recording at like round 10, but I've actually done a commentary at round 25. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up. It's really appreciated. And uh, yeah, if you want me to do uh, a uh, Shadows of Evil uh, tutorial video, uh, let me know. And I can get that uh, done. Look at the amount of stuff I unlocked in that game. If you get to a really high round, you get some serious upgrades. Like, for instance, I'm going to go in the factory. I haven't done one of these yet. You can see what these things are. See if we get a decent gobble gum. I don't know what that is. Killing time nuclear winter I think that one of them's a nuke and then the other one's to do with knives I don't know anyway but we've got uh, some extra attachment how do you get extra attachments on that and that's like move faster yeah I've unlocked some new stuff there's K in let's put that on there um, if I go to here we go Dracon here we go I love the Dracon if I can only get an optic on it it would be so much cooler because I'd have a better paint job. Yeah, you can actually make a paint job now, which is all really cool. Absolutely amazing. Like, I, I literally love it so much. Oh, here we go. Another faster aim that increases hip fire accuracy. Coolio. Right, let's go for the BR. Oh, my God. I used the BRM so much that game. It's going to definitely get me a load of points. But, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.